Welcome back to the most spectacular read-throughs of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big uh, Papa Pump uh, without the pump. I am the rock that is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. I am T. B R Terabyte Reacts and I would just like to say you're welcome. Welcome back to another edition of Berserk Manga Read Through. Today we're gonna be doing volume 16. But of course you know we have to do we have to do the go back and recover what we've lost. <laughs> As in backtrack a little bit go over the previous chapter to make sure that i am on the right track of going through this manga and reminding ourselves that where we are in the manga okay so let's do this let's do this so let's switch over here um probably gonna have ippo stuff there still whatever um I'm gonna have to position that right. Uh, just give me a chance here. I just finished doing Ippo. So let's do. Okay. Right there is fine. Take that off. We're done. What the hell just happened? Oh, my green screen is not down. I don't even know how that joke looked just now. <laughs> it's a good thing that that is my big ass head up top because, <laughs> you know. Anyways, let's do this. Alright, so. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you ready? You see the butt cheeks? You see the butt cheeks. <laughs> All right, so Berserk, we're in the middle of um, Conviction Arc, the Lost Children chapter, right? So these elves, they ran off, they left because Guts ran them away, right? It just it just became really creepy, you know, especially since the fact that Rosine she just ran away, <laughs> you know she ran away and then Jill um, followed her, you know. So guts used Jill to get away, you know it was just a ruse so that he could get away. Um, but she went with Rosine. You know, she went with Rosine. Guts having his norm his flashbacks, all that good stuff. You guys are giving me some good information in the comment section too about that baby. Casca's baby that is coming back to haunt and trying to kill Guts and all of this other stuff. It's just crazy how this story is just so it's a very unique story. It's a very different take on demons and angels and all of this other stuff. And I think that's what intrigues me the most about this, you know, and the characters are awesome too. So she ended up finding out Jill and Rosine. Jill ended up finding out what she has to do, basically has to sacrifice people so that she can become one of them. Right? Let's get to that part. Right, she's trying to convince her. She's seen how they do. They kill each other like it's war, like it's normal shit. They're supposed to be friends and they kill each other as for fun. Like that shit was crazy. Guts going up against these little, you know, whatever's over here. That was, that protects, protects them. Right. He destroyed them, as we know. The Dragon Slayer is nothing to play with. Um, so, 
got there, got rid of them, these mantis and whatever. They gave him a hard battle, but in the end, we all know what's new. And then these people came on the scene. So let's not roll over this Farnis. Farnese and the Holy Iron Chain Knights, okay? Um, you guys said I need to remember that name because they're looking for they're looking for um, they're looking for guts, right? So they're in the village now, Jill's village, looking for guts. You know, guts is over here fighting for his life, right? So. Guts finally takes them out. And we kind of get to see what these elves are up to. Right? You know, I'm just scrolling through this because we know, you know, just to refresh the memory. You know what I mean? Um, so, she tries to convince Jill again, but Puck is, you know, trying to tell her that that's not the way to go. You know, that is not right. It's not okay. Then you see them massacring each other. You know, I mean, killing each other for fun. They say, oh, this is fun, you know? These creepy ass things, man. And then they're like, oh, we don't want Jill. Jill's bad. You know? So, pretty cool stuff, man. You know, and then they came up on the hive, right? Like caught her trying to run away. Rosine confronts her. Um, so, you know, prove that that's not what she wanted. Um, Guts comes on the scene, starts to massacre them. That's the end. So, we're going to pick up from there, I imagine. In this next volume, gonna pick up from there. So, yeah, you know what I mean? Getting frustrated at myself, bruh. All right, let's get into it, man. Sorry for that, guys. Um, let's do this. All right, so the Conviction Arc Lost Children chapter still going on. All right, so we got, damn, about, oh, damn. About 11, 11 chapters. All right, let's let's do this. All right, monster. Onward, men. Sir, if you keep that up with the poor footing, see, I told you so. So you fell off the horse. I think you're telling that. Uh, that was nothing. Leave it to your humble servant, Zebek. I'll be sure to get you to the Misty Valley safely. Your heart is restless. I understand. I understand, Mr. Zebek. You volunteered for this life-threatening duty out of concern for your child. No, he just wants to fight again. You are a paragon of parenthood and a devout follower as well. Uh, well, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. I wouldn't go that far either. All hands dismount. We can't go any further by horse. All hands will proceed to the Misty Valley on foot while the squires and horses remain here. Will you be able to fare well enough, Mr. Zepek? Aha, no problem at all. See, just leave it to me. <laughs> what is it? What in you? You... <laughs> Bruh. You know, because you know when you kill them, they turn back to their human forms, right? So, this is the carnage that Guts has left there. It's like, what indeed? This is crazy. Mm. Once more, a mountain of corpses. But all this, all the bodies look as if they were blown apart by cannon fire. If this indeed was the work of the Black Swordsman, he must be leading some group of soldiers. It's like, hmm, I don't think so. It's like, what? I think he probably did this on his own. 
At a glance, these bodies appear to be the work of a cannon or something, but these are unmistakably edged weapon wounds. I think it must have been a rather massive blade swung with incredible speed, an axe, no, something much more than that. As all the corpses are in the same state, I assume they were all attacked by the same weapon. Additionally, I think it is unnatural to propose there is more than one person who could handle such a weapon. Yeah, yeah no doubt. It sure ain't no ass. axe. He swung around this huge sword that was longer than he was. He's a terror. Uh, hmm. If that is needed, if that is indeed the truth, then the black swordsman is no doubt the hawk of Zan. Like, shut the hell up. You mustn't utter that name lightly. It would be profane. It's like, yes, I spoke rashly. Now, let's depart. The commander is fairly worked up. The mountain of corpses and those village children. Black swordsman, no. Hawk of darkness. I swear I will catch you personally. I swear it on my fate. All right, so <laughs> God's oh my God, that makes my skin crawl. Ugh, he's just plastered in with the blade. Ugh, killing all of them. Ugh, he's getting in there. Jill, somebody calling out for Jill. Cause as he kills them, they're turning back into human. Ah, uh, you bastard. Not bad for a human, but, but, but. Aha, see? There are still many more of them. You won't win if they all attack at once. This is punishment for thrashing, for thrashing, trashing the emergence grounds. Everybody chew him slowly and go. So they all attack guts all at once. And Jill is in the corner talking about guts. <laughs> He's like, yeah, bye, Mr. Tough Stuff. You were kind of fun. And then the smile, the smile of a savage comes out. Man, these pages, bro. Like, look at this art, man. Just great. Just to show his aura alone. He, what's he thinking? The elves. What is he doing? <laughs> He's taking them out anyways. Why does it look like he got fire? Yo, he don't care, bro. It's like the cocoons, the cocoons insides put out. Oh, he jammed one of the cocoons. That's what he did here. Cause I was wondering what happened here. He jammed one of the cocoons with the blade right here, right? Stabbed up into it. Didn't care if he killed anyone. Cause you know, that's where they stay until they turn into them ugly things. Right? So yeah. Damn, look at this art, man. Oh, my God. Look at that. Bro, that's crazy, man. Look at these shots. Look at these shots, bro. Oh, my. Guts is not playing around, bro. So, you... Are you really human? What the hell are you? Oh, he's Guts, the Dragon Slayer. <laughs> the Black Swordsmen, the legends across the land, have been known to carry. I know what I'm saying. Okay, so he, he has the thing in his mouth, bro. Come on. And he spits it out. Okay. A forest ghost. Those were the words that went through my mind when I first saw him. Lit by the lightning flash. 
right now. But he, the man in front of me right now, is nothing so gentle as that. Sky Demon. You pay. You're going to pay. Says Rosine. But Rosine, you ain't got shit. You gonna die a terrible death today. Okay, so. Guts is taking out all the cocoons. More of the cocoons. Taking them down. Boom, boom, boom. Rosine is flying over there. She's going to attack herself. She tries to attack with whatever the hell that is coming from her forehead. Right? He takes out the tree. More of the tree. She's like, ooh. He's like, ah, uh, she's sad because your cocoons are getting, are getting demolished. I can't fly fast because of these cocoon trees. And my dust will get blown off by the flames. That was his intent. Oh! Guts is about to lay the smoke down. He like, got her. Oh, shit, she dodged? Oh, you so lucky. She dodged. She got away. Guts is like, Oh, shit, I missed again. <laughs> I missed again. Like, Rosine, it's no use, Jill. Oh, no. Hold on, I need to pull this back over a bit. That's better. All right. It's no use, Jill. Guts only has one eye right now. Oh, crap. The mark is bleeding. Like, it's all gone. Everything's burned up. No! Rosine! No! You was not ready. You were not ready. It's like, my elves, my land. Before long, all of it will burn in these flames. It can't be stopped now. And Jill is calling for Rosine. Rosine, is that Rosine? But so Rosine says, but whatever. I don't need them. She's transforming. She's turning into the devil that she was already is. <laughs> Not anymore. So you know that voice change is gonna come. <laughs> you know that voice change has to come. It's I don't have to have. I don't need them. Not anymore. <laughs> Eek. She's turning into whatever she was. She's like, I have wings. I can fly anywhere to some new place. I'll make a new paradise. So I don't need anything anymore. As long as I have Jill. However, you alone have to pay. What the? What the? She is transforming. And here we go. Full image of Rosine here. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful drawing. But Rosine has transformed into whatever, into the sky demon, I'm guessing. So let's continue here to the next chapter. All right, we have. It looks like Jill fell over. It's like, forget this. Swords won't do any good at this point. Oh, damn. What is she doing? She, all right. She transformed into a pretty big looking insect thingy, right? And tried, she tried, went after Guts. Guts blocks it. It looks like he cut a tree down or he got knocked to a three. To a tree. Okay. He's. He gets hit. Uh, he falls. And he hit the ground hard. It's like it's fast. No. Scratch that. 
I can't see it. Damn. I guess Rosine is out here moving really fast. He can't even see her. It's like, hey, that's funny. Maybe I was off target from losing an antenna. But next time, Steen. You okay, Jill? Yeah, you? So Puck and Jill is talking. It's like, Rosine. Nah, she's turning into the monster she was. She was this whole time, okay? We ain't feeling sorry for Rosine. Let's go. Uh huh. That stoked the flame. And I'm moving my entire screen for some reason. Right? So. So, um, Ro Rosine's still flying around, coming back at Guts again. Coming back at Guts again. Wow. This art is amazing, man. All right. So we got Rosine coming in with another hit. She's aiming right for my head at that speed. Yeah, she wants to take you out, bro. What are you going to do? Fly past Guts again. What is it? That explosive blast trailing her and the thunderous sound afterwards. There's no... There's no use trying to strike me down or flee. There's no one in the world faster than the Queen of the Elves. Okay, and Guts is in trouble. Guts is in trouble, guys. What is he going to do? She is moving so fast. Look at this. That's her passing Guts. Going past. She just streaks by and nearly obliterates me. I can't hear after those booms either. It's like, this ain't good. Even if I try to attack, my timing's way off. Whoa. Whoa, that's weird. All right. I'll aim a little slower. So, Rosine is like, stop. How to stop it? And Guts is, she coming in with the head skewer. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's slow down. And she's like, sting, sting, sting. <laughs> and Guts is getting ready. He puts the sword in front of him, trying to block again. And she's like, are you stupid? Even if you do that, I'll just skewer your arms and head. And he's like, nah, bro. I'm just trying to get a bird's eye view of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking at you through my... You know what I'm saying? I could see you now because there's nothing, that, nothing else in my peripherals. You know what I mean? Yeah. I need You gonna get this work. So, he puts his arm up. She's about to skewer him and what does he do what does he do? oh he takes it he takes it in his arm and then it goes off his metal arm right and it goes off his it goes off his metal arm from through his arm it's just crazy and it knocks his sword out, out of his hand too Damn. So, what is he going to do now? They're like, God, oh, it's Mr. Swordsman. Damn, that's crazy. He took took it. He got skewered for real. What is she going to do now? Is he going to break it, break that thing off? You know? What is he planning to do? Because I know he got a plan. It's like, say, what? I missed again? It's like, oh, well. She licks him? Ew. Maybe it'll be just as nice to stare at your bloody face for a while. She right up in his face, bruh. It's a date in the starry sky. So she flew away with him. <laughs> it's like, hold me close now, honey pie. <laughs> Rosine. She got that bang bang, you know what I mean? All right, so she flew way up with him, and she and he has his eyes closed, and she's saying, "Falling asleep so soon for shame, as we have such a pretty view of the moon." Hmm. Upon a closer look, you're really, you really are quite handsome. I kind of see why Jill might like you, but it's still too soon for Jill. She's still a child. 
You can't have her. Jill is mine, and mine alone. Now this is the end. I'm going to fly at full speed, and tear you to shreds. Bye bye. This time I really mean it. Oh, guts grabs her. Guts grabs her. Oh, you about to get blasted. You about to get blasted. Oh, he puts the metal arm out. You know what comes next? Cannonball, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha. Cannonball, and you can't escape either. Boom. Blast right through the whatever part of you that is. <laughs> Blast through it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boom. Oh yeah, look at her falling. Look at you falling. Ah oh, yes, to the belly section. Okay, so guts falls. That must hurt like crazy. He hits the ground after falling through the branches and stuff. It's like, why? Why did I miss? Hold on, you missed? The space between demon and man. He missed? I didn't see that coming. Anyways. All right, so we got Guts. She is messed up, man. Look at her. Rosine got fucked up, man. You know, so we got um Guts trying to get to his sword. He sees it in the distance. He's trying to get to it, but she got messed up. Okay, she gets up and it's like, where are you? Where'd you go? And Guts is trying to bandage up his, his arm that you pierced, you dummy. All right, damn it. What a mess. I'm about to dig my own grave. I've already blown three chances to offer. Is her appearance distracting me or is it Jill's story? Am I really such a softy? Look at me at this mess. I went too easy on her and now I can hardly hold my sword. Black it out. I'll take my urge to kill one more time and black everything else out. But how do I dodge that whip thing and get close to her in this shape? Even if I do get close, my gunpowder is bottomed out. That fool, she's still wandering around here. You know, you, you know? You know, she should be like far away observing this, but she's like right there observing all of this. Jill, come on, Jill. It's like, uh oh, we're completely surrounded. You think? Never mind, Puck. Just get away. I couldn't be so inhuman, says Puck. It's like, oh, but then I'm an elf and I'm about to be chestnuts on an open fire. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. That's a Christmas joke. I get it. Yeah, that's it. I'll burst one of those over my head, just like Guts. Everything's all right. And he's like, no, never. Uh, We want blood. Uh, you got a better idea, stupid girl? It's like, that's right. I am stupid, Jill. I knew it was true. See, didn't you even say so? Now I regret everything. I knew this too. Hmm, enough. Leave me alone. Go away and leave, stupid me. Buck is trying to cheer her up. Jill, if you sit there like that, you're just gonna die. You didn't come this far just to die, did you? She's wrenching in pain, crying. Okay, I'm gonna stop here, come back for part two. All right, and we're back. So, Rosine comes back on the scene, hurt, and said, Are you all right, Jill? Is that Rosine? So she tries to grab Jill and does. No, it's like, don't worry. Trust me. I'll carry you somewhere safe. Wait here until I take care of him. Then the two of us will go where no one can stop us. 
somewhere far, far away. Rosine. Okay, what's happening here? What is she doing to her? Oh, shit. Yo, that was guts. Wait a second. Where did he come from? I mean, we see this here. Was he hiding? I think he was hiding. He came up with the Badunga. <laughs> you know what I mean? He just jumped up from under there. She, it looked like she saw him too, but it was too late. He snuck up. He, yo, this man gives zero fucks, bro. Like for real. Look at, look how close he came to 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 killing Jill too. Like this man don't give a damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? This man don't give a damn with the smirk. You dead, honey. Look at look at where the sword come how close the sword come to her head, bro. Look at that. Bro, he went in with the Padunka duck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn. And then he hit her. Well, she ain't escaping this. Right through there. Jill is falling. Damn. Guts don't play no games. She's screaming. She's screaming as she flies up in the air. Flies off. Damn, did Guts miss, miss again? All that blood. He's like, he knew. He knew Rosine would come and save Jill. He just kept quiet and watched the fire engulf her. Hiding himself behind a curtain of flame. Oh, it was it, it was fire that he was hiding behind. You know, Jill, now's our chance to escape. She's crying because of all that blood that came off of Rosine on her. And now, what is she, was she smiling? What the hell? Was she losing it, bruh? She is losing. I think she's laughing. Rosine is trying to dip. She coming after guts again. She ain't learned her lesson. What are who are you? Why are you so you wouldn't remember? Every last human you scum snacked on playing your games. You wouldn't remember. He's like, a human? She can't believe that he's human. Yo, this dude is on top of her back, my guy. He's like, I'm not, I'm going to slice you right through. He's like, a human must never be allowed to cause pain for an elf. And he's in that back, bruh. He pulls out the sword, the space between demon and man. He pulls out the sword, man. Ooh, that was gruesome. Anyways, let's get to the next chapter. I'm here, the Misty Valley. This is it, the land of the elves. Or oh, you're having a flashback now. Rosine got stabbed so hard, she ended up in the flashback. <laughs> oh, my. Nope, not really. Firefly. All right. Guts. So Guts is falling from the sky. It's like, Rosie is still talking shit. Humans aren't meant to take the lives of elves. I won't have it. You can just go away forever. Damn. Damn, that thing is right in his face. What did he do? What did he do? Did he? Oh, shit. Why are you going to make it look like she stabbed Guts in the head? Bruh. She's like, ha, ha, ha. Oh, snap. This anime. Now I call this damn manga anime. This shit is too much. This too much, bro. Guts is. 
Is there anybody else ever in the history of anime, name me another character as tough as Guts. The man embodies his name, man. Please tell me if you've ever seen a bigger beatdown, a character in any anime or manga that have taken a bigger beatdown that is taking hits like this and still like, bro, what? He took that thing right through his mouth. My guy, come on, Guts, you ain't got to go this far. Bruh, look at this art, bro. What? I would, if I see somebody, you am fighting somebody, you push it, put your sword through their mouth, and it's, <sighs> bruh, I'm sorry, I'm taking up my ball and I'm going home. Bruh, he came around with the badonka donk. What? Split her shit in two, bro. Split her shit in two. Her head gone. Mad. Sick. Head no good. What? Come on, man. Look at this art, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. This guy has got to go down as one of the greatest manga um manga artists of all time. I think they call manga cuz. But bruh. Come on, man. The man took that thing through his hands. Now he took it through his mouth to the side of his jaw, go right through the other side. Now it gets pulled out. He pulls it out. But he got the slice he wanted, though. Buster shit, bro. Oh, it wasn't her head. It was like her shoulder. And he's like, they weren't there. Damn. Guts is falling down again. Why does she keep saying, no, they weren't there? I waited for days and days. I waited forever. I'd known it. I hadn't really believed in them. In silly elves. They come and they say, Rosine. Parents, her parents, like, Rosine, mom, thank God you're safe. Why are you here? Oh, girl, you have me so worried. So the parents came for her. Yeah, I remember that. But didn't she sacrifice her parents? It's like, dear, stop. Of all the stupid things to do. Yo, she punched. Yo, this man just punched his daughter in the face, bro. Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused everyone in the village? Don't you dare humili humiliate me ever again. What? Have you got something to say? Because she's looking up at him. Get your ass up. We're going back to the village. So the mom is trying to calm him down. Man, does all the men in that village just suck ass? I mean, seriously. Jill Dad is no different. Just as abusive. Do you have any idea how long look we were looking for you? Looking for you has delayed the harvest. Were there hells? Were there any elves here? Worthless superstitions? You're too old to believe in that crap. Or was this for me? Did you do this to me because I'm your real father? Please, dear, please stop. This is wrong. This kind of thing can't happen here in the valley. I don't. Oh, I don't need all this. Go away. So she ended up with a behelet. Everything. Just go away. Oh, my God. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Forgive me, father. Mother. Look, she turned back. She's slowly turning back into human. And you're like, Rosine. Jill is walking up to her. Like, it's too late. J Jill. 
they weren't there. There weren't really any elves. Yeah, so she created that world through, created them through um, Behelet. She just captured humans and turned them into elves to have a, some utopia. Look at her ear just hanging off. I waited alone, day after day, but no elves appeared. There were never any such things. Peacock and the elves of the Misty Valley were just fairy tales that some lonely child made up, I'm sure. Rosine, that's not true. Peacock, you. Long ago, elves really did live here. I don't know why everybody's gone, but I'm sure my kind did live here. I can tell. I feel it. This is Puck talking. Your kind? He's an elf. See? A real one. Is that a real one? So he is... They were here? The elves? Yeah. Guts is fired up. He out here bleeding to death. They just having one hell of a good time. The way home. Okay. They were here. The elves. You found one for real, Jill. Lucky. Now you'll be alright. Even with bad stuff. Alright? Rosine! Yo. <laughs> Guts is coming over. He's pissed. It's like, Guts. Mr. Swordsman. All right. So we have. Damn, he's coming over to finish the job. He's like, stop. That's enough. Rosine can't even move. Don't hurt her anymore. It's like, please just leave her be. It's like, why? Why do you hate her so much? Why? Damn, he knocks Jill out of the way. Trust me, it's not it's not Rosine that he hates. This man just don't have no qualms and no care for demons, bro. None. You don't understand how much demons is taken take taken from him. It's crazy. A lot. You know what I mean? You pay for that guts. Oh damn. Is she what the hell is Puck doing trying to stop his sword? Gods, stop it, you fool. Oh, damn, Jill jumped in front of it. She jumped on Rosine's body. Cover it. Is he going to hold up? Oh, shit. Guts is looking at him like, oh, he slammed it somewhere else. He's like, how about that? I hit him. I took down the black swordsman. What the hell? Hold on. Did I miss something? Because I didn't see him coming to the scene at all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, where did he come from all of a sudden? You took down what? Mr. Zepek. I done it. I done it. I took down the black swordsman. Oh no! Attack! Rescue the children! Oh god, now Guts going. <laughs> Yo, they are hitting Guts. <laughs> Guts is dipping. He's like, after him, grab him! He's like, wait, wait, wait for me, I'll go too! Mr. Zapek! Your child, we must pursue the Black Swordsman, but you must stay here and watch over the children. Uh, no, but I, the Black Swordsman, I mean. You must not push yourself. Firing that arrow to save your daughter was admirable, but I would never dream of involving an outsider such as you in this danger any further. You just leave him to us and take your time basking in the joy of being reunited with your child. This man cares about fighting more than he cares about his family. What a dummy. So then. God damn it. That son of a bitch. I didn't come all the way out to the Misty Valley just for this. Uh, one more time. Like some father. 
Well, Zane, you mustn't move. Jill, what's that thing? Ain't that an elf? Have to go home. Rosine wants to go home. She's trying to fly again. It's like, stop it, old man. <sighs> Move, stupid. Like, Rosine, she could still. So she takes off. He's like, I have to go. Must go home now. The sun's gone down and the moon's already so high. If I don't hurry home, mom and dad will be worried. I'm so hungry. Wonder what's for dinner tonight. She's falling out of the sky. On top of a small hill between the village where he no longer knew a single person and the elf forest where no human was allowed to live, Peacock, the outcast, cried and cried, his red eyes swollen even redder. Damn, Rosine's flown off for home, almost like Peacock running back to his house. A road she will never reach the end of. Damn it, got me good, getting my hopes all up. They planned this from the start. Don't get me going on stuff that won't happen, sons of bitches. <laughs> like, come on, we're going home, Jill. Come on, quit standing there. Let's go. Jill is like, I can't go. Her dad says, say what? It's like, I can't go home yet. You fool, the hell's that mean? Don't you talk back to me. Damn, she he really just tried to hit Jill again. And she is she just dodged she just like man you go back to the village, Dad. Ah. Hey Jill, where the hell do you think you're going? With that health, you stupid girl. It's like Puck! Find out where the swordsman is. Alright. But it's dangerous. You saw him before, right? Besides Besides, why? After everything he's put you through? Jill is like, I don't know. I don't know, but but I just can't. I can't leave things this way. Find him. Leave no stones unturned. Capture the black swordsman. Commander, it's hopeless in this fog. And it's only a matter of time before that fire makes, it, makes its way here. She's like, silence. After years, we've finally gotten this close. I'm not about to let him just escape. Guts is injured, man. Big injuries, too. Okay, so so she so Jill caught up with Guts. Mr. Swordsman. It's like, are you going away? She and he's like, are you an idiot? Why are you still following me after all that crap? It's like I told you, huh? You're lucky to still be alive. You almost died plenty. Your old friend was killed and you're soaked in bloody sludge. Keep hanging around. I promise you'll see more of the same. Now get lost. Go away. She's like, but... That time, I nearly burned to death. You saved me. Didn't you? He's like, so he still noticed Jill? She's like, take me with you. I won't slow you down, so take me somewhere far away. She's like, I, I want to get out of this village. Yo, there, I mean, somewhere. Somewhere that isn't here. And she ugs guts. It's like, I don't care where. As long as it's not here, I don't care. It's like, look, take a good look around me, a good hard look at the shadows, at the darkness around me. You know, you said somewhere's, you said somewhere that's not here. This is that somewhere, the verge of our world. This place is adrift. 
where the dead cling to the living, drowning in jealousy and yearning, a garbage heap of losers. You said you don't care where. Well, what you see is what you get. This is your paradise. Child, young body, give me, let me in, give it, to give mine, yummy. She's like, no, because she's seeing the reality of it. And then Guts just clears her off it. Because that's the reality of his life now. It's like, you know, demons are always like hovering around him. It's crazy. He's like, that's my life. So you sure you want a part of that? It's like, there's no paradise for you to escape to. What you'll find, what's there, is just a battlefield. Mr. Swordsman, go home. It's like, no, I don't have, I don't have a place I want to go home to. And he tells her again, go home. This is my battlefield. It's like, only bad things happen there. Nobody's kind to me. It's like, go, go back. Back to your battlefield. She cries out, Mr. Swordsman. He disappeared into the darkness. In the end, I still didn't know who he was. Just like when he appeared, he took the demons with him. I was the only one left behind. I still don't really know what these past days of fear, sadness, and shock were to me. The mist cleared away. The mist that would never go away was pushed out by the flames. The clear sky now peeks through. But it's by no means a spectacle that makes my heart leap like when I flew in the sky Rosine. It's savage, lonely, cold, but such a vivid sky. It's a clear sky, like the kind after a storm blows through. I don't have wings, so I guess I'll look up at the sky and crawl along the earth. Maybe the fluid from the from that cocoon he doused me with, mixed with Rosine's blood, Washed away my childhood. Guess this is it, Jill. So Puck is saying goodbye. You're going? He's like, yeah. Jill, will you be okay alone? She says, yeah. I, I guess I don't think I can be violent like the swordsman after all. And I guess I really don't have the courage to run away like Rosine did. But, but at least I think I'll try crying and shouting and biting my way through. Maybe I can change something. Farewell, gifts. Sting your dad with this as much as you like. So Puck gave her elf dust. Thanks, he's like, hey Puck, why do you go with him? Hmm. I just can't leave him be, that idiot. Like, elves really do look best in the blue sky. In a tiny village nestled in a ravine, difficult to see even from the air, I think I'm about to start my own tiny battle. Okay. All right, so great ending to that arc. I don't know what this image is, but it looks weird. <laughs> All right, so great ending to that art. Now we're moving on to the conviction, the, this another part of the conviction arc, binding chain chapter, the beast of darkness. All right, we got the skull knight, skull knight, skeleton knight, whatever. Hmm, he's thinking it's as if hellfire scorched this. The struggler. Footprints on his path. It seems he still has not been forsaken by evil fortune. But for a person following this path, it leads through an overly cruel night. Can a man continue to walk this path 
or else what did he pick up he picked up something I don't know like he's reaching down into the hole for something what did he pick up he picked up the behelit okay is he gonna eat it is that how you destroy them so he ate the behelit why I don't know okay guts needs to get patched up man all right guts is walking here you killed you did kill hey you killed plenty children you killed countless hey you killed sell your own grudge you killed just to achieve your own desire poor little children so many you killed so long as they're demons killings all right even those children didn't become demons by choice. Those poor children, poor them. For your one and only desire, it's right to kill. Dozens of times, children, hundreds of them, it's right to kill. So that you could survive, it's right to kill. You stink of darkness, you do. The stink of darkness very close to you. It lives, it lives inside you. The beast, black, black, the beast of darkness, it thirsts while it's there. More and more it thirsts. The more blood in which it bathes, the more it does thirst. The beast has an insatiable appetite. As you kill, it thirsts. As it thirsts, you kill. The blood must flow, so keep killing. It will still thirst forever, all alone, always alone, always alone. Then the beast will consume you. It will take your place. You will come to feel nothing but hatred. You will become a monster in the form of a man. No. Perhaps you can become a real monster. Maybe you can. Maybe. Maybe. Like your friend. Like him. Talking about Griffith. Um, it's like, uh, hmm. He falls over. You're goddamn kidding me. In a place like this, by these weaklings, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. <laughs> but will I reach him? How many more dead will I have to push aside? How many more apostles will I have to cut down? How long will I have to creep in darkness until him? <laughs> Griffith. Oh, my God. Oh, close, close. With those wounds, could he have wandered off and died? Jeez. Idiot side in. Already time for the full lecture. Look here, you. Just have a seat right there. This <laughs> puck coming in. It's like, damn, these demons that hang around him, man, they're so creepy. Hey, what are you doing? Wake up. Are you or you're dead? It's like, jackass, put some spirit into this. What's the big idea after all your preaching to Jill? <laughs> They're like trying to. <laughs> he's, he's, he's funny. He's how he trying to fight out for the fishing sting. <laughs> And I'm in top form fighting these little things. <laughs> Puck is funny. Turns around and knock guts in the head. Be thankful now. You're awake. Why you quit? It's like, you know, I can't keep tense with you around. Taking it seriously just seems silly. Looks like they gave it up too. Did you see my power? Nobody cares about that puck. It lives. The beast. You'll become a monster. You'll become a beast monster. Screw that. I'm me. There's nothing else. I am what I am. And I will make my way to him. Well, I'll go ahead and treat your wounds once you wash the blood off in the river. It's all thanks to me. Thanks to me, you keep kicking. It's all me. 
Well, I suppose he has some mes medicinal value. <laughs> of course. All right. You win, Puck. That can be your place. Do what you want. Hey, did you just say Puck finally called him by his name? You did. You did. We've been together for so long, and that's the first you've called me by name. And he's like, whatever. All right. So next chapter... We got um, Flannies or whatever her name is catching up with Gutstum. Still here. Guts, they're from before. We finally tracked you down. Black swordsman. This man is the Hawk of Darkness. Hey, look, that sword. Yeah. Is that a sword? Can he wheel a thing like that? Look, his left hand. It's like his whole body's bloodstained, so he really is the one of darkness. Who the hell are these guys? We are the Holy Iron Chain Knights under direct control of the Holy See. We have made haste under decree of the Miracle Recognition Department to escort your person to the Holy See. Made haste? What? <laughs> if you throw down your sword and surrender well enough, if not... Then in the name of God, we shall seize your person. All right. I'm going to take a break here. Come back for part three. All right. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're in the thick of things. We're in the thick of things. Okay. All right. So if not, then in the name of God, we shall seize your person. Why? I don't recall ever being arrested by priest. Of course, that don't mean I ain't been. He's like, zero persuasive power. <laughs> it's like, so you say. But what of your blood-stained appearance? The children of that village, the mounds of corpses left in the path. You threat, you tread. Is not, is that not their blood? Guts. Enough talk. This is God's will. All hands, seize the black swordsman. You're in no shape for this. What do you do, says Buck? Two guts. Did he really kill all those people by himself? What a sword, though. All that blood he must have still. Just how much? They're like, like should we really be going up against a guy like this? So somebody tries to pull up. Guts pulls out his sword. Are they really going to fight this guy right now? Guts is fighting back, but he's not killing them. It's like, what's with him? He can't use it at all. It's like, Guts, I can't. I can't swing my sword. He can't swing because his, his freaking hand is messed up. It's like, right, everybody charge. Don't kill him, stupid. He's fast. Hey, I can still punch, though. I can still give you these hands. Stop. You kill him. Damn. <laughs> Man, you ever get punched through a helmet, my guy? Damn, bro. You, you bastard. They're down. Are they dead? You pay for that. The fake hand. Watch out for it. Calm down. Don't get carried away. Surround him. Check his movement. So Guts is jumping around, dodging these hits. It's like, stop. You hit us. Damn, he's just using his left hand. When a man is fighting you with one hand, bro, I think you guys should give up. <laughs> it's like, oh, no. You mustn't kill him, fools. They're going in, though. <laughs> like attacking him like five dudes at once. But Guts is dodging it, though. It's like, ah, me. Ah, miserable. Why do they falter in the face of one wounded man? Come now. It cannot be helped. The holy iron chain knights are known as the pretty boy knights. An alleged collection of... Bonbons into which high nobles who do not wish their heirs taken in conflict 
and roll them for safety and status, very few have any real experience in battle. Thus, it is only natural they would falter. Thanks for your honored opinion. So what exactly is it that you're doing here, Serpico? Ah, come on, you know. The ha I hate the sight of blood. Ergo, I also enlisted. Yeah, okay, that makes no damn sense, but I guess it makes sense to you. Um, all right, they're still going in. Guts is blocking, blocking, blocking. They're like, good, now, capture him. Oh, damn, they're like, hmm, what the hell? the hell's going on oh oh what just happened I'm confused I'm confused what happened here yo did he just folded everybody with the sword I think he did. Yo, he started to kill him? What? Something is happening, bro. Blood is spilling, that's for sure. He finally swings his sword. You know, bearing the pain. All that blood coming off of his hand, man. Because he's injured. His right hand is, is injured, man. He's like, he swung it, that sword. He really, he went through five armored men in one swing as if a cannon had blasted them apart. How did he, no mistake, he's the one. He left all those corpses. He's a monster. Dear God, this is the black swordsman? There's no doubt the accursedness recorded in the revelations. Lady Fornice. As Serpico says, simply sending forth large number of troops inexperienced in battle will do naught but increase our casualties. I, I ask you to entrust, to entrust this task to me. Guess he wants to get folded too. So he jumps down. Okay. Vice Commander, Sir Azan. Oh, Sir Azan's intervening. Claim vengeance for us, Sir of Azan. Everyone, get back, get back, get well back. So he's like twirling his whatever that is, a mace, I guess. I am Vast Commander Azan of the Holy Iron Chain Knights, also called Iron Club Azan. Black Swordsman, I challenge you to a proper battle. Iron Club Azan, Iron Club Azan. <laughs> like what? Once again, someone over the top. Iron Club Azan, I've heard that name. You were also called Azan the Bridge Knight, weren't you? It's like, now that's an old name. Guts, do you know him? He's called Azan the Bridge Knight. It happened when I was still a kid. There was this eccentric knight who held up nearly a hundred horsemen from crossing a very narrow bridge because of an old wounded guy who'd been stranded there. Oh damn, it's pretty cool. I think everyone laughed that it wouldn't be over till he helped the old man to the end of the bridge. A knight has a certain just path he must follow. I now have cause to serve religion, but in any case, I've given you my name. It's a knight's courtesy for you to do the same. It's like, I ain't no knight. Guts. I'm just guts, pal. Well then, guts. Have at thee. <laughs> it's like, how, whole, how old fashioned. <laughs> Ready a bone or two for me. Okay, he goes after guts. Guts dodges. A bone or two, huh? He's like, oh. He's swinging after Guts. Guts have to be dodging. He's like, I can't dodge forever with this leg. 
Dude is coming after you, though. You got to do something. And this guy, he's no muscle-bound moron. He's quick and accurate. Like, oh, crap. Vision's hazing. Enough of your dancing. Summer showers thrust. Summer showers. Yes, you do need showers in the summer. <laughs> so he's going with the, with the gumma gumma no. Gatlin gun club attacks <laughs> um sh summer showers man so guts took that one to the gut look like he blocked it with the sword though it's like awesome he's beating back the black swordsman he can do it you can do it vice commander azan he is almost done for one more push magnificent i'd like to say but the fact that you haven't attacked once is a bit disappointing. Your use of the sword before was straight from the actual battlefield. It conjured up the old days and set my heart a tad astir. I must reinforce my devotion. Guts is like, not good. He's getting pretty damn dark. Losing feeling in my limbs. What do I do? I can only push myself one more time. It's obvious that if I use my last strength to take this guy down, I'll be surrounded and captured. In that case, I've got to seize the Ed. <laughs> got to go after Fl Flanis or whatever her name is. Fl is it Flonies? I think it's Flonies. I've got to seize the head. It's like, uh, from head on. Gallantry! <laughs> Gus just dashed past him. It's like, what? Using me as a footstool? Yeah, bitch. Let me a shoulder real quick. He jumps up. He going after her. He's like, alas, I've heard. Lady Farnese. It's Farnese, not Flonies. <laughs> Lady Farnese. Right? Yo. Guts just cut this guy in half. It's like, you want to get this work? He going after her, bruh. Oh, you going to jump? Ah, right up in her face. He dodges it. I don't know what's happening here. But he dodges it. It's a valiant effort by her, though. Cut her neck. She cut his neck, or he went down. Did he black out? Get him? Did I? Magnificent Lady Farnese. Well, amazing. The Black Swordsman with one strike. That's why she's our commander. Stand up, you. Tonyo. He was a good man. Uh, I'll kill that son of a bitch. Hey, quit it. Hey. You killed Kane. Stop, stupid. I'll kill you here and now. That's enough. Foolishness. <laughs> yeah, that happened. I hate when that happens. It's the worst. You would gang up against a man who no longer resists? That is a shameful thing for a knight to do. But Sir Azan, he, our men, our friends, I thought I told you some time ago that he who wears the sword must always be prepared to fall by the sword. This man answered, sword for sword. In that regard, he is not at fault, but... To cast shame upon him, cast shame upon our battle just now. Not only that, it is also an insult to the deaths of your friends who cross swords with him. Would you all mock, mock the valor of knights? Huh. I'm so sorry, Vice Commander. Vice Commander, we were mistaken. Forgive us, Vice Commander. Hmm. I scolded some somewhat heavily for one who casts his own knighthood aside. 
It's not unreasonable for one to get swept up in his first battle. Your pardon. What's with this bunch of goody goodies? <laughs> What's going on with these bunch of goody goodies, man? Lady Farnese, our withdrawal orders. Lady Farnese, is this the first time you have drawn blood? Nothing is more terrifying than taking up the sword. But as a leader of men, you must forever harbor its significance within your heart. Right. All hands withdraw. With, with, withdraw. Okay, that's the end of that. All right, so they've captured Guts. Took off his arm. Have him in chains. That's crazy. <laughs> the Hollow Idol. It's like, quit it. We have brought the Black Swordsman. Enter. Hey. Well done. Once you fasten them to the post, you are all dismissed. Yes, but then I care not with those huge bonds. What could he do? Would it... Then I will report to the vice commander. Unnecessary. But furthermore, until I order otherwise, the guards are to move away from this tent. Yes, but Lady Farnese, on the minute chance that something should happen, I really should tell the vice. What is your name and affiliation? Are you saying you can't execute my orders without seeking instruction from the vice commander every single time? Who is the supreme commander of the Holy Iron Chain Knights? Tell me. <laughs> hey, it is Commander Farnese. I beg your forgiveness for my blatant indiscretion. Very well. Dismissed. Black Swordsman, no. Guts, you said. Before I deliver your person to the Holy See, it is my duty as one who takes the lowest place in its high court to ask you two or three questions. First, your origin, the motives for your actions, and your purpose. You will answer me. Eh, like, what are you laughing at? And Guts is laughing. He's <laughs> like, nah. I just thought maybe you and God or whatever must not get along that well. It's like, I'll not permit you to commit such blasphemy a second time. It's like, first off, this, this mountain of weaponry, what on earth is this? This slab of iron for which the term sword would be in, <laughs> sword would be inappropriate it's a bit ostentatious for a mere mercenary all of this seems to have been used extensively what have you done with all this what are you trying to do do you mean to take on an entire army and then this right how suspicious. It seems something a soothsayer might possess. If this is some secret pagan treasure, it will come down to you being tried for heresy. If you don't wish for that, obediently confess everything right here. Is that not better than a rigorous trial followed by burning at the stake? Guts is still not saying anything. She's like, will you not answer? So, you believe in God and demons? She's like, what are you getting at? If you mean to blaspheme again, it's like, have you ever met one? A God. She's like, God does not display his miracles on this earth lightly. He dwells always within our faith, in our hearts. As well as in heaven. And he starts laughing again. It's like, but what's so funny? What a picture perfect answer. Did you study in a convent? Long ago on a battlefield, a noble said nearly the same thing. While he roasted women, children, and an entire town. I ain't talking about some god like a hollow statue that ain't worth a damn. 
confessing is a waste of time. I don't care about repenting. You wouldn't understand a single thing I had to say. Just go and say a chant for me in some musty temple. <laughs> He's like, how? How dare you? She slashes him. He's like, ah, oh, great. Shot his mouth off again. I've got to fix that later, too. How dare you say such things like as to spit in on heaven? Before me, commander of the... Uh, before heaven, before me, commander of the Holy Iron Chain Knights. In consideration of your wounded condition, I had intended to show some mercy in your questioning, but no longer. I swear, I'll have your answers if I have to tear the skin from your entire body. I swear it on my faith. Zach, you're so far beyond yourself. God, commander, you start brandishing that crap, you can kiss your reputation goodbye, like that old bridge knight. From where I stand, you're the same as that idol you worship. Completely hollow. Damn. Bars. <laughs> Bars. Hit her with that one too. Boof baf. <laughs> you know? She's like, ah, she whips him again. Whips, whips that. Damn you. Damn you. She's going in. She's hitting him. He's like, Lady Farnese, our pardon. What is going, Lady Farnese? What on earth? What's the trouble? I'm simply inquiring of two or three things prior to delivering him to the Holy See. And she, um, Azad says, but like this? Enough. Return him to his cell. You're all dismissed. Lady Farnese. That. Did you not hear me? I said you were dismissed. So as you wish. Like, take him away. Don't remove his irons, dress his wounds, and cage him. The old man puts up with this too. Please don't antagonize the commander. However, she may seem she can be quite charming. Yeah, right. Anyways. All right, she praying, she praying. He got him in a cage out here. He's like, God damn it. How could that bitch toss a wounded man out in this bitter cold? It's enough to kill a man, but still. Pretty soon. Pretty soon what? Sacrifice. <laughs> this ain't good. This ain't good. Oh, man. That was it. Brilliant, brilliant stuff, man. Brilliant stuff. Guts is now in the in um the Holy Iron Chain Knights has captured him. Looking forward to more, man, as always. You already know. You already know. So that was volume 16, guys. Um, for those of you guys who are watching here on the Google Drive, make sure you go back to YouTube and check out the review when the, when it comes out the day after. Make sure you go back and check it out. I know some of you might forget, but at least go and check out the review um, on YouTube. I implore you to do so. Anyways, I'll see you guys for that. Peace. All right, guys. Yeah, so that was berserk volume 16 man that was pretty crazy that was pretty crazy i have to say i enjoyed it very much um reading through that and i got through it i did two read throughs today and i'm happy that i got through it my throat doesn't sound too bad because i tried to keep the lubrication on point right so yeah man the thing that happened with um, Rosine and Jill was very sad. It was sad to see Rosine that way. Felt a little bit sorry for her at the end, the way how she was trying to get back home. You know, that was kind of sad, you know, because she went there. She didn't find anyone. But I'm more so upset at 
the dad, her dad, because her dad came, they found her and they were blaming her. He punched her in the face. Like, close fist, punch her in the face, bro. Like, come on. That is some dick shit, man. For real. But in any case, man, um, I felt sorry for her because she had a, a terrible upbringing. You know, so it's good that Puck kind of confirmed for her and let her know, listen, elves did live here. You probably came here, they left, maybe they were killed off, but he can feel it, they were there. Um, so Jill wanted to go with Guts, but he kind of showed her his world. It's like, you don't want to leave that world for this one. That one is, it pales in comparison to this one, okay? So you don't want to come with me. I'm surrounded by darkness and demons 24-7. You don't want to be around me, okay? So... I'm glad she didn't go with him because I don't want I don't want guts to have that kind of baggage of to having to have to always be protecting someone like her. So I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want him to have that kind of baggage. It, it would have been nice. Yes. But I think it's it's better this way around. So now he's captured, um, you know, by these knights or whatever. So that's yet to be seen. There's also a scene with the Skull Knight picking up the Behelet and eating it. I don't know what that signifies. I'm guessing we're going to learn more about that. So, yeah, it's pretty much all I have to say about this, man. This was a very exciting chapter. It really goes to show you when it comes on to, to Guts. When it comes on to Guts, man, this character is amazing. It's an amazing character. Amazing character. One of the toughest SOBs I've ever come across in the anime manga world toughest 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 i'm talking about like it's crazy i've seen people go through some really tough situations and get back up you know in anime in manga but this it just takes the cake it's just it's so gruesome and so real you feel like that could have been you you know what i'm saying like getting stabbed through the mouth jaw to jaw and still fighting bruh brilliant brilliant stuff man so shout out to the author i think his name is kentaro mura whatever yes kentaro mura um so that was pretty cool so um all in all man you know the thing that i enjoy the most about this manga other than the story which is number one for me is the art the art is incredible in this manga i don't think i've ever seen this level of detail in a manga ever and i know i've said this multiple times before but it's just it's awe inspiring you know what i mean when you see it then you're and you're like man this art is so detailed did he have to be this detail no but it is this detail because he wants it to you know what i mean and it just goes to show you those intense moments with guts face and stuff like that when you know he's serious when he grins when he when he um swipes his sword you know what I mean? It's just that intensity. I just love it. I just love it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, hopefully you guys enjoy this read through, man. Uh, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all always. Make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you are new. Whew. I said that in one breath. <laughs> okay? Anyways, thank you guys so much. Your boy Terabyte Reacts. I'm out. See you guys next time. Peace.